I'm going to show you now how I attach my battery canisters to my harness. You can see that some people are having them on the spine. Me personally, I don't like it. I find that it deforms the wing a little bit. And generally, based on my body, I find I like to have more weight lower down the body. What you can see is I've got two Jubilee bands and just with some cloth protection over the worm gears. What you can actually get is a metal plate. This one's actually from XD and you can decide to run your bungee through it and it's actually a really good option. The drawback to it is that they don't come installed on every harness of course, so you have to add them. There's one. And there's two. Now what I want to do is I want to think about the cable routing. Because this is going to curve around on the bump, the hose would actually come out the bottom. So I actually need to pre-turn this to somewhere like here so that when it turns around, the hose route is nice. It's starting around 55 centimeters, but of course it will be more or less depending on the canister size. When I put the canister on, of course, I want to make sure the connections are on the side they're going to run up the body. And for me, I'm putting the canister on the outside of the webbing. It's quite standard, you'll see it having it on the inside. It's true that it gives you a degree of security. It just means you just slightly longer crotch strap and potentially you might find that less comfortable. So I've taken my loop and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slip it under one side. Now I wanna make sure the knot doesn't live on the inside. I wanna make it sure it's on the outside so it's more comfortable. So I can start off here with a knot in the middle and I'm just going to twist. I take that twist and I fold that over the end. And what you can see I've got now is a cross here. If I turn this over, I want to make sure that the bungees are on the outside of the worm gears and they give it some stability. And what you can see now is that's held in place. So if I'm running two canisters, like you'll see on one of the earlier cold water videos, where maybe I'm taking one canister for some lamps and one canister for the heating system, what I'm going to do now is a combination. I'm going to use the plate for one of the canisters, and then I'm going to use the crossover method. Now I have the two 